Just saw this on the Onion AV Club, a Q&A thing they do with their writers. Basically, what are they, sacred cows that you simply can't accept people can dislike? And what's the critically acclaimed stuff that you have honestly tried but simply cannot get into? Sacred cows. Guilty displeasures. I've put this down without putting a whole lot of thought into it. But two things come to mind straight away for the sacred cows. People who don't like any of the Simpsons don't know many of these, admittedly, and people who dismiss the entirety of hip-hop. By all means, say you don't know much or aren't interested. But, it all sounds the same. There's no musical talent, it's just noise, all that kinda shit that people say to justify their dislike of all hip-hop. I guess that goes for a number of genres. But hip-hop seems to be the one that's targeted the most. On the guilty displeasure front, I'd probably put Led Zeppelin up. I have listened to them quite a bit, and don't mind some tracks, but they're a band I just can't go for, for whatever reason. I could definitely add more to both lists probably, I don't know. I agree with both. Though Led Zeppelin, only for Kazmer and Mountain Song, I think it's called, I can leave the rest. Also, I have a feeling this is gonna be a good thread. Led Zeppelin FDW. Hum, I've thought about it and I don't really have a sacred cow. Guilty displeasures. The Beatles are probably number one for me. There are loads more but I'd have to think. I bet there's some Beatles songs you like. If I really really dug down, I'd probably find some, but their most famous songs, for example, every track on the one album they did a few years ago, I don't like any of them. Weo, you don't like any of their big singles? Just get on with your lists. Sacred Cows, The Beatles I kinda wanted discussion and stuff in here, I wasn't saying, you fucking idiot, why don't you like the Beatles? A thread with just listing stuff would be kinda boring. Guilty Displeasures, Declan's opinions on the Beatles, Animal Collective, Drum and Bass, The Bug, watching two films. Wait that doesn't work. I'm honored that all your opinions are based around me. Although over Christmas I watched three movies in one day, so I think I can handle it now, if driven to enough boredom. LOL, Magoo.org, bring in heavy hit after heavy hit. Dwayne, wrote Cologne, a thread with just listing stuff would be kinda boring. I agree, but there's nothing to discuss about it really. I don't like them and I never have. I find it really dull, and I also can't get on board with retro appreciation when people say they were innovative at the time. I know that I feel this way, because they've been copied so much, but to me, on a very basic level, I hear them and I don't like what I hear. One thing I might have down as a sacred cow, though maybe not quite that strong, is Citizen Kane. Just the amount of people I've talked to who marvel at how the fuck that's supposed to be the best film ever, or how it's so fucking boring, or whatever, there seems to be so many people who have decided the film is a piece of shit, and I just don't get it. A lot of the people also seem to know fuck all about the film itself other than they know that it's boring and that it shouldn't be on any list of best films and that the critics are wrong. Which is a better movie Citizen Kane or The Wedding Crashers? Citizen Kane I knew that's what you'd say, 